And good morning and happy Mother's Day. We'll have more on the weird weather if developments warrant, but we begin with the newest entry in the Republican primary field, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. He is in Destin, Florida this morning. Uh, good morning, Governor. The FBI director uh, warned everyone of the increasing danger of homegrown terrorists this week. You had some very tough words uh, on terrorism. You said, uh, you know, that we will no longer merely try to contain jihadism, we will conquer it. But you didn't say how. What, what do we need to do that we're not doing here? Well, locally and here in our own country, we need to have some control of our borders. And instead of spending a gazillion dollars looking at everybody's metadata of phone records and email, we really need to be concentrating on those people who have been tweeting out threatening comments, people who ought to give us some real concern. Uh, the attack in Garland, Texas this week, there were all kinds of indications that these uh, two young men were, were being radicalized and had some pretty nefarious thoughts going on. Why didn't we see that coming? Uh, internationally, Bob, I think one of the challenges we face is you can't beat an enemy if you don't define him. And this administration has done something I never thought would happen. It's actually brought Israel into a closer alliance with Egypt, Jordan, the Saudis, the Emirates, and Kuwait uh, than perhaps uh, those nations are with the United States anymore. Uh, Governor, uh, yes, uh, I, I take your point on all of that, but apparently we did know about these two men and warnings went out, the ones who attacked that, uh, were bent on attacking that convention uh, in Dallas. Uh, I don't hear the details, the specifics on how you go after them. I mean, are we basically at war with Islam now? We're not at war with Islam. We are at war with radical Islam. We are at war with jihadism. The people who believe that their purpose on earth is to kill everybody who, doesn't, who don't agree with them uh, religiously, yes, we're at war with that. And I think the sooner we come to grips with it, and the sooner we realize that that level of religious fanaticism that is uh, all about killing everybody, even other Muslims, uh, the sooner we're going to be able to identify it, uh, surround it, and ultimately defeat it. Governor, when I uh, listened to your uh, announcement uh, speech the other day from Hope, Arkansas, uh, when you got to that part about saving Social Security, you sounded more like a Democrat than a Republican to me. How is that going to go over in these Republican primary states? Well, I think I sounded more like an American. I sound like an American who understands that people have been paying in, in my case, since I was 14 years old when I got my first job. People pay into a system for 50 years. When I hear people act like that they're on welfare when they get a Social Security check or a Medicare uh, benefit. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Didn't the government take that out of my check for all these years involuntarily? And I understand the program uh, has some real fiscal problems, but why would you punish the recipients who played by the rules that they were forced to play by? Social Security and Medicare aren't voluntary programs. And so my point is that uh, you don't go out there and tell people, now that you've paid all these years, we're going to change the rules because we screwed up the system and we didn't act as good stewards of your money like we said we were going to do.